I walk over you once again in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding will be your portion. Amen. I pray that heaven will open the floodgate of heaven and rain more blessing upon you and your family. Amen. I pray that God will intervene in your circumstances. Mm. I pray that every door that the enemy have closed, may God turn it open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you are here, may you not return back home as you came. Amen. May you be blessed by his word. Amen. May you be empowered by his word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May your life never remain the same. Amen. We give you glory. Amen. Amen. We magnify only name, Amen. for you are worthy. Amen. I humble myself, Holy Spirit, before you. Amen. I may serve unto your word. Amen. May you speak your word through my spirit. Amen. May you speak your word through my soul. Amen. Let it come with fire. Amen. Let it come with fire. Amen. Let it come with fire. Amen. Let it penetrate through the spirit, soul, and body. Amen. Every unknown spirit in our midst, Father, I command them to disappear in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Speak. Amen. Speak. Amen. For your servant Amen. is listening. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we are going to look at the book of Genesis 22, from verse 1 to 17. I may stop at 14 as the Spirit of God leads me. In your own time, I pray that you will dive into the Word of God in your homes so that for all understanding. Amen. Amen. And the title is uh, The Giver and the Gift. The Giver and the Gift. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. May you be blessed as we read this word. Let's amen. look into the Bible. I read from verse 1. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain. I will show you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place. Somebody say place. Place. Go and underline the word place. Underline it. For I will let you know why. God had told him about the place God had told him about. For on the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. In the distance. Amen. Yeah. Another place again on the line. Yeah. Five. I continue. He said to his servant, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac. And he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Abraham, father, yes, my son. Abraham replied, the fire and the woods are here, Isaac said. But where is the lamp for the burnt offering? Eight. Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamp for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. When they reached the place, and the light place, God had told him about Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound his son Isaac 
and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not reheld from me your son, your only son. 13. Abraham looked up and there in the trinket he saw a ram catch by eight horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Abraham called that place the Lord will provide. One more time. The Lord will provide. And took and to this day it is said on the mountain the Lord it will provide. Of the Lord it will provide. Amen. 15. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not reheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendant as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendant will take possession of the city of their enemies. May the name of God be praised. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise and sisters. Now give me one So the giver and the gift is the message today. The giver is more important than the gift. I repeat. The giver is more important than the gift of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, God works in mysterious ways. That is why he is God. Amen. Amen. The giver is God. And the gift is the things of what? God. God has promised Abraham a son that is going to bless him through. And we know that they can never be Jacob without Isaac. Hello? They cannot. Jacob will not exist without Isaac. And God has made a promise that through Isaac, I will bless your descendant. Amen. Amen. So in a natural sense, there is no need for God to ask for Isaac to be used for burnt offering through the father Abraham. And the question is why? And I'll tell you. God was not intent and was not actually ready to ask Abraham to use Isaac for burnt offering. That was not God's intent. God was not ready to do that. I want you to hear it well. It was said 
Satan that orchestrated it. It was Satan that orchestrated why God changed his mind and then decided to put Abraham on test. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 We are going on the journey. We shall surely get there. Yeah. Amen. God was not ready, Sister Comfort, to test Abraham. Because he was at the age of 900 years. Sarah was what? 99 years. Oh, before they had Isaac. Praise the Lord. If my memory set me right. So the man and his wife have waited for long. <laughs> and he has finally blessed Sarah with Isaac. Yeah. And according to the Bible, the soul of Sarah is tied to Isaac. So anything happened to Isaac, something can happen to the mother. Yeah, yeah. When your soul is attached to something, mm. anything go back, the person dies. Yeah. The giver and the gifts. You now understand it. <laughs> Satan went to God and asked God, have you noticed that since you blessed Abraham with Isaac, Abraham is no longer praying as he does? <laughs> Satan said, have you realized that since you blessed Abraham with Isaac, his beloved Isaac is no longer worshiping you at the mountain as he does. Who is talking? Satan is talking to God. Yeah. Who created Satan? Was it not God? Yeah. The two of them, they talk a lot. Yeah. They have a lot of conversations. Yeah. Not concerning the goats and the cow yeah. and the fish. Yeah. Concerning me and you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So Satan then asked God, are you sure this Abraham love you as you think? Because since Isaac came into his life, it's no longer pray and worship you as he does. Don't you think that the gift you gave him have taken your place? Hallelujah, someone. Amen. That was what Satan told God. And God woke up and said, Oh, Satan, you may be right. I have not pay attention on this. So then God then decided to change his mind about you, Frank. God then decided to change his mind about you, Mary. God then decided to change his mind about me, Pastor Collins. You know what? He said, God is a jealous God. God will not bless you for that gift to take away the place of God. You know what? It's a comfort. God knows your mind. You tell the pastor, this is my problem. You tell him the half. You don't tell him all. But who knows the rest? God! Are, are you with me? There's a prophetic message that the world needs to hear. The world needs to hear. About the mind of God. About the mind of what? God. Pay attention. The reason why we fall. The reason why when we rise, we fall. Many people have not paid attention on it. But today, whoever that is hearing me, this hour, this moment, <coughs> may God, the Spirit of God give you discernment to understand what God wants to pass on to you. Amen. The giver and the gift. God knows your mind. There is. He knows what you think. And he knows how you reason. And you know who else knows? Satan knows it. So what you discuss with the pastor, what you should pray about, 
The pastor will pray about it according to what you have said. Yeah. But God knows in your mind that is not really the problem. Yeah. You are hiding something. Yeah. And he knows that what you are hiding, you thought he cannot know and he should not know. But God knows all things. So God knows in his mind, this son and this my daughter, this is his mind. His mind is doubled. Yes. His mind is what doubled in terms of my services, in terms of my work. And a double-minded person, God knows how they think. Yeah. They say this, but they do something else. Uh, yeah. I understand. Yeah. They say this, but they do something else. So God knows their mind and knows their spirit. And God said, I'm a jealous God. You pray for something, and the thing you are praying for, God knows it's a comfort. Yeah. When you have it, He knows that that place can take the place of God. He will not answer it. Yeah. Have you know a woman who, have, because of a man, he stopped serving God and started smoking? Yeah. Have you know somebody like that? Yeah. You have a witness. Yeah. I, I know I'm not the only person. Yeah. Hello? He yeah. said, The man has made. To now choose which place she belong. So now you choose the man against the giver. So the gift is the man. You choose the man. And now the one who makes sure that you got that gift, you ignore him. The giver and the gift. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is speaking to us. Yeah. Why we fall? When we are rising, the reason why we fall yeah. without knowing. Yeah. So when the prayers are not being answered, God knows that what He's about to give you, if He gives you, that thing will take the place of God. And God don't want His place to be taken. God is a jealous God. So then, you wait until you are fully committed with your heart to him. And mature that when he gives you the gift, you will not say because of my work. Oh God, you understand. That is why today I need to rest. I cannot go to church. I am tired. Oh God, you understand my situation. God have mercy. I will go and serve you next week. The gift you were praying for work and work and work and work. And God has provided you the work. And now the gift has now taken the place of the giver. Is somebody with me? I said, this is a message the world needs to hear. He said, God, I need a car so I can facilitate my movement. And now God has given the gift of the car. The sake, the cost of the car. He said, it's all nice. I want to enjoy a cruise and chill. So I was so much enjoying the gift that I forget to go and serve the giver. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. So the car have taken the place of God in your life. Is it right? No. Is it right? No. God is a jealous God. And that was the mind that Satan gave him about Abraham. And God then decided. So when he tested Abraham, it was not his intention, it was the intention of Satan. Don't you think he's doing to me too? Yeah. Don't you think he's doing to all of us? God knows our requests. God knows all things. He knows our mind. He knows when it's divided. He knows. He knows when it's settled. He knows. He knows when you say this and you do this. He knows. God knows all things. Amen. So when you put Abraham on the test, and you know one thing that he said? And I asked you to underline it about the place. The place, yeah. Can we dive into the place a little bit? 
underlined it. You see, it was mentioned three times in the Bible. The place. The place. The place. The place. And I want you to hear me. The prophetic word behind the place. Brothers and sisters, it is very important. And it's the most powerful gift you can ever have. You have the discernment to know whether you are in the right place. I repeat. It is the most powerful gift you can ever think of. Or you can ever have. You have the, the ability and the discernment to know in your spirit that I am with the right man of God. God yeah. The place. God told Abraham, if you see it, you will know it. If you see it, you will know it. The place that I want show you. The place. The place. It is very important to know where you worship. The place you worship. It is very important not to make sacrifice in the wrong place. So the place it's very, very, very important in our life as children of God. It connects us to our blessing. It connects us to our breakthrough. It connects us to our glory. It connects us to our miracle. The place. The place. If you're not in the right place, and you're making sacrifice there, they can never be returned. Because God knows that that place is not where he wants you to be. The place. Brothers and sisters, do somebody know the meaning of worship? Worship. Worship. The meaning of worship, the Greek word of worship, means wealth. Something that wealth more than everything in your life. Mm -hmm. That is what worship is all about. <clears throat> we all know worship, you can be in an emotion. You can be in the slain in the spirit mm -hmm. and, be, and, and be crying. But the meaning of worship is something that wealth so dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Abraham knows what real worship is all about. For real worship includes sacrifice. Sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Real worship includes sacrifice. And sacrificing in the right place. And having the discernment to know in your spirit and in your mind that you are with the right man of God. The place. And it's a when you have the discernment and ability and you are there, you will know in your heart and your spirit that you are in the right place. You will know it. Where I will show you. He said, you will know it. That you are in the right place. That is why I told Abraham, when you get to the mountain of Moriah, where I will show you, when you get there, you will see it. If Abraham get to the wrong mountain, he will not get the lamb for sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding? Yes. yes. Dennis, if you get to the right place, and you will find yourself in the right place. The spirit of God in you will let you know that you are in the right place. Your mind will not be doubled. Your mind will be settled. Because you know in your spirit the ability and the discernment that God has placed you in the right place. 
So you will know it. Where he has showed you. And Abraham was walking to the mountain. And the mountain that he's walking to, he cannot go to the wrong mountain. He need to get to the right place. Where he will see his glory, where he will see his breakthrough. When you are in the right place, yeah. your glory will look at you. Mm. Yeah. When you are in the right place, no matter what Satan does, your breakthrough will find you. Mm. Unless your mind is doubled. Mm. Unless you are not certain whether you are with the right man of God. you will still keep on searching for something else. Then you go after the gift instead of the giver. Amen. Amen. When you are in the right place, there is seven and ability within your heart. The Spirit of God will let you know that you are in the right place. You will not be confused. You will not be asking questions that make no sense. Because the Lord has put you in the right place. And in the right place, you will not fall sick. And you will be rushed to hospital every day. In the right place, uncertainty does not happen to you. In the right place, attack comes, but you shall overcome it. In the right place, evil will be weighed against you, but God shall deliver you. Amen. In the right place, God move you forward and not move you back. In the right place, the Spirit of God directs your movement. Satan has no place in your life. That is why it is important to worship in the right place. Amen. That is why it is important to walk with the right man of God. But that is where God will bring our breakthrough. Abraham go to the mountain with his son Isaac. Who carried the firewood? He placed it upon the same Isaac. According to the Bible, if you go deeper to the book of Enoch, the reason why Abraham was so obedient to his father and never asked his father why you are laying me on that altar and tying it down. According to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Isaac said, he rather died than to disobey the father. The father. Hallelujah. Which is a giver to Isaac is more important than the gift of his father. Yeah. That is why he did not fight his father or struggle to his father for laying on the altar that the father prepared for putting a firewood on him and they carried to the mountain. He only asked his father, Father, the woods and the fire, everything is here. Where is the lamb? For sacrifice, the father said, The Lord will provide. 
When you get to the right place, the Lord will provide. When you are in the right church, the Lord will provide. When you are with the right man of God, the Lord will provide your needs according to his riches. Through glory in Christ Jesus, the Lord will provide. Which is Abraham was walking not by sight. No. But Abraham was walking by faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Abraham was not walking by sight. He not said, let me go to the church and try my luck. Yeah. So I hope you understand. Yeah, I understand. And you see, if God is even God, <laughs> if God can answer my prayer. Yeah. That way, you know what God thinks. Yeah, he knows that you love the gift mm -hmm. and not the giver. Mm -hmm. So when he gives you the gift, mm -hmm. the gift will take the place of the giver. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Understand? God is a calculated God. Oh, yes. He does not miscalculate. He calculates very well. <laughs> he knows all things. He knows your mind and he knows your mind. So Abraham told Isaac, the Lord himself will provide the lamb for sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And he told the two servants, and I want you to pay attention. He told the two servants, stay here and watch over what the donkeys. He said, we are going to do what? Going to worship, and we shall what? Come back to you. Mm -hmm. It's a man who walked by what? Faith and not by sight. Woman. It's good to walk by faith. Amen. Hello? Hi. Woman, are you here? Yes. Let me hear your voice. I said it's good to walk by faith. Amen. Not what people say. No. Not what you have. No. Not what they say. Mm. But your God said, when you find yourself in the right place, the Lord himself will provide your needs. Amen. So you claim it. You accept it and said, I, Pastor Collins, my God will meet me at my knees, at the point of my desire, at the point of my request, at the point of my breakthrough. My God Himself will provide my needs. Praise the Lord, Samuel. Hallelujah. It's not about what people say. It's not about, about what other people have told you. It's not about what they are taking. It is about what God said about you. He said, Becky, I myself, God, will provide your needs. Don't put your mind on Sokoto. No. Don't put your mind on Kaswa. Mm. Don't put your mind on Germany. Mm. Don't put your mind on, uh, uh, on, on Holland. Mm. Put your mind on God. Oh. The way you are, it's the way your foot touches. I shall bless you. Yeah. Where your foot touches, I shall establish you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Nobody say. No. But what God says, no what they have said. But what God says, claim it, accept it, and put yourself in it, and underline it, that my God will provide my needs. So I'm not waiting on any man. No. I'm not waiting on any woman. No, yes. But I'm waiting on the giver. Yes. If I have the giver, then I will have the wisdom to control the gift. Yes, sir. But if you don't have the giver, and you have the gift because you don't have the wisdom to control the gift. Because the one who gave you the gift is the giver. Yeah. He, he's the only one who can give you the ability, mm -hmm. the wisdom, the technology, and the knowledge to control the gift. Mm -hmm. In the book of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter 15, mm -hmm. verse 11 to 32, mm -hmm. write it down on your own time. You read it about the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. About the prodigal son, he said to his father, Father. I cannot wait for you to die before I get my inheritance. He <laughs> said, Father, I cannot wait for you to die before I get my inheritance. So share it equally. Let me take mine and go. The prodigal son was interested in the gift of the giver. But he did not know what he did not know that the giver alone know how he made the world. Is somebody here with me? What the prodigal son did not know, he did not know the strategy, the wisdom, the knowledge, 
the technology and the understanding how to sustain wealth and the riches and the gift. The prodigal son was more interested in the gift and not the giver. So he said, Father, give me my own. Let me go and enjoy myself. He went and lived what a wild life that he squandered all the money. You see? Because the one who gave him the money is the only one who have the ability to tell you how to sustain the gift. Yeah. That's right. If God bless you with the man mm -hmm. and now turn yourself against the giver, what will happen? If you are not careful, that person, God will take the gift yeah. from your hand. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to pay attention. Yeah. If God bless you with a woman, you have prayed for many years and you allow the woman to turn you against the giver, God will take the a gift from you. Yeah. This is what makes some people fall. Yeah. Today, if you are here under the ocean of the Holy Spirit, yeah. I don't want to take this message personally, but take this message that God is speaking to your heart today. Yeah. So I can open your eyes that the past does not visit himself again in the future. Yeah. That the past does not visit himself again in the future. So, brothers and sisters, Abraham said to Isaac, the Lord himself will provide. I'm telling you, yeah. brothers and sisters, yeah. as I'm standing as a prophet of God, I cannot tell you categorically that I can carry my son Matthew at so much love on such a test. I don't know. God is my witness. Yeah. I love God. So God normally knows our ability. So it tests us according to our own ability. What we can handle, the whole can handle. But Satan made God to go more than what we can handle. Satan will push God to do what we cannot handle. He pushed God to the point that God said, let me try out Abraham. Put him on the test. They go to the mountain of Moriah in the moment of sacrifice. Oh, sister Becky, it's so strange. Abraham left the altar and he put the wood and he put his son Isaac on top. Just as Jesus was laid on the cross, that's how Isaac was laid on the altar. He tied him from left and right. And his leg was tied together. His own son. And Abraham was ready to slay his own son. Was ready. All because Satan wanted to prove a point. When he lifted his hand, when he was about to slay Isaac, and I asked myself, all the while Isaac was lying down as obedient child. Yeah. Did not do that. Because he said he ran out the in his father's heart yeah. than to disobey his father. Yeah. That was what the reason why Isaac did not do anything. Yeah. Beloved, if you are with me, yeah. I want you to know that when you are in the right place, the Lord will turn yeah. your situation yeah. around. Yeah. When you are in the right place, God will turn your situation around. Amen. The past will not be able to visit himself again in your life. Amen. 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 The past will not have chance to make you do the same thing you did again in the past. God will not allow Satan to move you from your glory. You know why Satan is trying so hard sometimes to attack our mind? You know why Satan is trying so hard to attack our mind? It's a comfort. When Satan discovers that you find yourself in the right place, yeah, yeah. you make him restless yes. mind. Yeah. When Satan discovers that you are with the right man of God, it makes him confused. Yeah. It will do everything to yeah. move you away yeah. from where it makes it difficult yeah. for him to attack your life. Yeah. It will separate you from the life. It will try hard yeah. to move you away first. 
When they move you away, you move you away from the glory, you move you away from the spiritual age, you move you away from the spiritual protection, so that he can finish you as he tell you to do. That's when we are in the right place, he attacks our mind with doubt. He attacks our mind with doubt. Confusion. Yes. Immediately we think that your, your pastor is not really with God. Oh, yeah. That is the work of Satan. Depress your mind to the state that you begin to compare your pastor to other men of God. But those men of God, some of them, they sleep in the graveyard yes. with dead women, yeah. Yeah. dead men, yeah. spirit, and early in the morning they go to the pulpit. Yeah. Yeah. So everything they pass on the people yeah. are dead spirit. So the people are coming and coming and coming. Yeah. But their situation is not getting better. Mm -hmm. It's decreasing and decreasing. Mm -hmm. They have been hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Even though they say they should fall down, they fall down. Yeah. If you speak against that, their pastor, Ooh. they will kill you. There are some churches when you join them, you become an adulterous one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, big time. There are some churches when you join them, they will send a spiritual husband to you. Yeah. Anytime you, the moment you left that church, you always be seeing the woman coming to visit you in the yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. The it is the spirit of the prophet that is in charge of the church. Mm -hmm. So anyone that joins that church and you leave, they will send that spirit to join you in the night and the night. Yeah. Till you get frustrated, you go to them for help. But they are the same person who sent that spirit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good to worship in the right place. And in the right place, the Lord Himself will provide your needs. Amen. The Lord Himself. Amen. The Lord Himself. The Lord Himself will provide your needs. When you are in the right place. Don't allow Satan to push you away from the right place. Do I not say that you move you away from your glory? Mm -hmm. But it's trying hard. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to some men. Yeah. Spiritual women will be coming to them. Yeah. Some women, spiritual husband will be coming to them every night. Yeah. They yeah. pray, do everything. Yeah. Before you know, the man went to the church with his head. No man. As soon as he joined that church, he started dying his head. Mm -hmm. He died, he put the line in the middle mm -hmm. and died. Mm -hmm. He went to the church when he has one girlfriend. But when you join to the church, you now have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. There's adulterous spirit in the church. Mm -hmm. So that adulterous spirit brings more fornication mm -hmm. and more adulterous people yeah. in the church. Yeah. And there are many, yeah. anything that is evil yeah. spread. Yeah. It spread yeah. very fast. Yeah. And good things. Yeah. And good things. Yeah. Rest yeah. sisters. Yeah. He laid Isaac on the woods. Yeah. And when he lifted up his hand about to slay him, the angel of the Lord called from heaven. Said, ah, Abraham, Abraham, do not lay a hand on Isaac. Said, do not do anything to him. He said, I now know that you fear God and you have not reheld your son, your only son. The only gift that the Lord gave you, I now know that that son cannot take my place. You see how jealous God is? Yeah. That is when God settled his fight. Mm -hmm. And that said, Abraham, I will, I decree and declare, yeah. I will bless your yeah. descendant yeah. Yeah. as numerous as the stars in the sky. In the night, look at the stars. Sometimes I try to look at it and say, let me count one. Let me count this. Before I finish counting this one, the other one, before I miss my way, I say, but they are many. Yeah. The stars all over the world. Yeah. You see how many? Yeah. I will bless your descendant as numerous as the stars in the sky. Me and you, we are descendants of Abraham, yeah. yes. Jacob, yeah. Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to look white no. or black. No. Who, who you are. Black is the best yeah. human race on yeah. earth. Yeah. Adam is black. Yeah. If you don't know, I'm telling you today, the first race on earth is black. A race is, it's not about race. It's about the God that we serve. 
So you see, the descendant of Abraham has spread all over the world. And he said, as the servant in the sea. Samuel, have you been to the sea before? Have you been to the seashore before, Samuel? It's a comfort. Have you been to the sea before? Sea. Sea, yes. Yeah, and the beach. Yeah, beach. Beach. Yeah, yeah. Have you been there before, Samuel? Yeah. Praise the Lord. I've been there before. Yeah, yeah. I love swimming in the sea. Mm. You see the sand there? Mm. Hey, have you seen the sand? Mm -hmm. Where can we start from? <laughs> where can we start from? If you are working, then you go from. Where, yes, where can you start from? <laughs> that is how the blessings of God mm. became mm. that we spread over the whole world. Mm. And the most amazing part that I love in this message is that God said through his angel to Abraham, I now know that I can trust you. I now know that the gift cannot take my place. I now know that the car that you have been praying for, if I give it to you, it cannot take my place. So now I can give you whatever you are asking me from. I now know that the woman you have been praying for, if I give you now, I know that I can trust you. That woman will not tell me, let's stop going to church and relax ourselves. The pastor talk too much. Even though he's speaking the truth. He will speak down on the man of God. God said, I now know that that woman cannot take the place, my place, my place in your life. So I will now give to you what you are asking me for for all these years. Because yeah. I now know that I can trust you, Becky. That what you have been praying for all these years, I cannot trust you. That I know if I give it to you, that gate will not take the place of the giver. And I know, my soul, Frank, and if I bless you, what you are asking for, that that gift cannot replace me. So if he does not know yet from you and me that what you are asking for, we are asking God for, and he thinks that that thing can take his place, then what does he mean? He will surely, obviously, will not answer it. If you go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, 11. What did the Bible say there? Verse 10. It said, finally, be strong in the Lord yeah, yeah. and his mighty power. And verse 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you or may be able to stand the days of evil schemes. Now what he said? Yeah. Yes. So clearly God did not say in Ephesians chapter 6 10 and 11 that put on the full armor of God so on the days of evil when it comes Becky, Pastor Collins and your members start running away. Start running away. Start running away. <laughs> evil have come. We are now running away. Let's go. Evil is coming. Let's go. Hey, hey, come, come, come. Let's go. We start, we start running away. We are running. We are running. We are running. No. no. That is what the Bible tells us. And that is what God told Abraham. He told Abraham to stand firm. firm yeah. As a child of God, if you know your God, stand firm. Put on the full level of God. So the days of evil will come, my daughters, my children, beloved, ladies and gentlemen. So when the days of evil come, stand strong in his mighty word, power, not in your power. Then it's not in Pastor Collins' power, but in the power of God. And to stand strong in the power of God. Are you understanding? Yeah. Are you understanding? Yeah. So when you stand in the power of God, when the days of evil come, you are ready to pray. And say, Satan, I bind you in Jesus' name. Amen. Satan, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Satan, get behind me in Jesus' name. Satan, you cannot move me away from my glory in Jesus' name. So clearly, he did not say, put on the full armor of God. He did not say, put on the full armor of God. So when problem comes, you should run away from your house. I understand. 
He did not say, put on the full armor of God. So that when you are in trouble, you are facing challenges in your own. You run away and say, it's pastor's problem, let him face it. I understand. It means, put on the armor of God. That you can be equipped and stand strong. For those days of evil will come. And when they come, he said, pray in the name of Jesus and bound the principalities, bound the Holy spirit, bound the demonic spirit, bound the powers of darkness in the name of what? Jesus. And every knee will bow. He said, every tongue will confess that he is the Alpha, he is the Omega, he is the beginning, he is the end, he is the first and the last. And do you know what he says? He that laughs last, always laughs. The best! God bless you. You may see that. Bless you. Amen. Amen. So we don't go to church. Then we pray. Then when problem comes, we start complaining. And start running away. You put on the hour of God to face the attack of your enemy through prayer. You don't run away. Abraham did not run away because God said, I want to test you. You say, Isaac, come. Pack your things. Sarah, pack your things. We are going to Egypt. We are living here. If that's the reason, let God continue with this. Promises. I don't need it. I have gotten Isaac. It's okay. It's not the same God that made me send my son Ishmael. I sent Ishmael away. I don't know where he is with my slave wife that I, I, I chased out of the house, out of a rebellious to Sarah. Now the only son that God has blessed me with, God Isaac, that I know that through him the promises of God shall be fulfilled. And now God said, I should go and what? Use it for burnt offering. Isaac, pack your things. Sarah, let's go. Let's sleep. Let's sleep. No. No, 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 no. We are not Christians to run away in the time of difficulties. We are not Christians to throw in the towel, but we are Christians to stand strong in the days of challenges and know that the Lord will surely provide your needs. The giver is important than the gift. The giver is important than what? The gift. The giver is important than what? The gift. So don't concentrate more on the gift, but rather concentrate and build a strong relationship with the giver. When you have the giver in your heart, yeah. you will have all things. God created the heaven and the earth and everything that is there in. God created everything. Riches, wealth, success. Happy who? Husband, wife, good life is in the hands of the almighty God. He owns the world in his own hands. Our destiny is in his own hands. He knows all things. Don't give him a reason to hold on to your blessing. Hello? Hi. Hello? Don't give him a reason to prolong your blessing. Have one mind about God. Stand on his word. Stand on his word. And know that he will provide. The giver is more important than comfort. The giver is God himself. Don't be like a prodigal son. Now later you return back and discover that after you lost all the gifts, you now discover that the giver is more important than the gift. That is why he returned back to what? To the Father. To the Father. That's why Jesus Christ, when he was praying on the mountain, when he finished praying, that his tears was like blood. He said, Father, let your will be done. When he was nailed on the cross, when he said, Laba Tamai. Shabbatamai, Laban, Labatani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Isn't it? Yes. At the same time, he said, God, 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 unto your hands I commit my spirit. You cannot run away from the Omega. We cannot run away from our Maker. So when He give you the gift, don't allow your gift to take the place of God in your life. That is why people fall. Yeah. That is why people lost their blessing. Yeah. That is why people lost their joy. Mm-hmm. On that gift, you begin to worship the gift. Mm-hmm. You begin to worship the gift. Mm-hmm. It becomes like an idol, idol worshiper. Mm-hmm. The gift, your car became like an idol worshiper. Mm-hmm. The works, the work he bless you with that you are doing, it became more important than the giver. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. As an earthly father, if my soul begin to take me less important and begin to 
cherish more and the gift that I gave him. I know that one day he will follow the gift and leave me when I'm in pain. And that is heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. No parent will pray for that. So it is with God. Our God heart was bleeding. God was crying for us. When he sees us, place the gifts he gave him to us. And worship those things. We worship those things. And we forget that our maker who made us. Now we have allowed the gift to take the place of our maker. God cries. God weeps. That's why he said, I now know Somebody repeat after me. I now know. I now know that I can trust you. And I can trust you. I now know. I now know that I can trust you. And I can trust you. And I will give you. I will give you whatever that you ask me of. Whatever that you ask me of. Because I know. Because I know that the gift. That the gift will not take the place. Will not take the place of the giver. Of the giver. May your soul be blessed. Amen. May all of you, your soul be blessed. Amen. May God protect you. Amen. And your family. Amen. May God open your eyes. Amen. To see the giver more important Amen. than the gift. Amen. The gift are vanities. Yes. The things of God are vanities. It's true. God give them to rest. And just to try us and see. What are those gifts? Will take his place. To go allow the gift of God. Or the gift take the place of the giver. Build a relationship with the giver. Build a relationship with the giver. For the giver is the Lord. He holds the key to your life. Your soul, your spirit is in the hands of God. He can move your life forward. He can establish you. And he can move you back. When you see that his gift has taken his place. God is a jealous God. The giver and the gift. Invest more time in the giver rather than the gift. May God bless you all. Amen. May God bless you all. Hallelujah. May God bless you all. Amen. May your soul be blessed. Amen. May your heart be blessed. Amen. Amen. May God strengthen you. Amen. May God open the floodgate of heaven on your behalf. Amen. May God build a pillar of fire around you. Amen. May God destroy the plans of your enemies. Amen. May Satan never move you away from your glory. Amen. May Satan never move you away from your happiness. Amen. May Satan never move you away from your real destiny place where God will provide your needs. Amen. May you be protected. Amen. May you be guided Amen. by the Lord Almighty Jesus. Amen. May God make a way for you. Yes. Amen. May God protect you Amen. and protect your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It will be well with you and your household. Amen. Whatever you are looking for, whatever you are asking God, He said He now know that He can trust you. Yes. He will give unto you, my children. Amen. He will give unto you, my people. Amen. He will give unto you, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. He now know that those things will not take the place of God in your heart. Yes. May God bless you. Amen. Father, I bless you. Hallelujah. I pray for the brothers and sisters all over the world yes. who have heard this message. Let it empower them. Amen. Let it strengthen them. Amen. Let it move them forward. Amen. Let it, Father God, turn their life around Amen. and give them a better tomorrow. Yes, I pray for strength upon their families, Amen. upon their relationship, Hallelujah. upon their husbands, yes, upon their wives. Yes, and let everything that is not right in your marriage, Father God, we ask you to fix it. Amen. We ask you to fix it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let the weak Holy Spirit be strengthened. Amen. Let the weak Holy Spirit be strengthened. Amen. And let the sick receive healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May your righteous hand rest upon your people. Amen. May they not fall sick. Amen. May they not fall a victim of demonic or satanic accident. Amen. I pray for success. Amen. I pray for deliverance. Amen. I pray for healing. Amen. I pray for opening door. Amen. I pray for success. Amen. I pray for deliverance. Amen. I pray for healing. Amen. I pray for opening door. Amen. Father, build a pillar of fire. Yes. I said fire. Amen. I said fire. Amen. I said fire. Amen. Build a pillar of fire around their going out, Amen. around their coming in. Amen. And let the door that have been opened remain open. Amen. Let the door remain open. Amen. The door of their blessing remain open. Amen. The door of their joy remain open. Amen. The door of their peace remain open. Amen. The door of their favor remain open. Amen. I pray for divine deliverance yes, from the crown of your head. Yes, from the crown of your head yes. and to the soul of your feet. Hallelujah. You be delivered from evil spirit, Amen. from demonic spirit, Amen. from satanic spirit, Amen. from the spirit of death, Amen. satanic sickness, Amen. from ancestral spirit, Hallelujah. from generation curse. May you be delivered. Amen. Amen. The powers of darkness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the Lord.
Lord Almighty Jesus mm. make a way for you. Hallelujah. May the Lord provide for you. Hallelujah. May the Lord provide for you. Yes, Lord. May the Lord provide for you. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I will bless you. Thank you, Father. And give you glory. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen.